Hello guys and welcome back and this is almost the last part, maybe it is, maybe it isn't I don't know if uh, everything will fit within this tutorial because I got a limit of 15 minutes so the first thing we're going to do is a public void driving, we're going to make that uh, work, so uh, the thing we are going to add here is that you can just uh, go quicker or not, but the first thing we're going to do, because we're going to add a force to the rigid body of the vehicle is check if it's not already driving too fast because if it is driving too fast you don't want it um, vehicle trends you don't want it to be um, uh, to went to cut even more force because otherwise you will just go faster 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 and will won't end uh, the inverse transform direction Um, car uh, vehicle rigid, sorry that's again from a, uh, a mistake that I made within my source field velocity uh, and from that this axis if it that is uh, smaller than my current vehicle from the current vehicle dot max speed you can add uh, a force to it so vehicle rigid uh, add force and that will be and that be depends on if you uh, have to add this minus if this works directly with me because I'm using blender um, and some other reasons it just won't directly so that's why I put a minus uh, in front of it just just check if you have to put a minus in front of it or not uh, well if you have to just add it and otherwise don't input dot get axis and add here horizontal so that are the w and the s key and um, i lie it has to be vertical because otherwise you get all the keys um, and you are going to multiply it by the vehicle trends vehicle Cool. yeah there it is vehicle trends dot forward because we want to go forward and um, also the current vehicle dot speed so this is all right so you can just use this part uh, if you're driving within your normal script but um, now we're going to do something that well isn't that smart and well I just had to create it within 15 minutes or so just because I wanted to show you, you can drive around, but you know, that's not the point of this tutorial, so I didn't spend much time about it. Um, vehicle, uh, I'm sorry, vehicle rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude, so that's the speed, and that's the uh, also the rod move because we're going to create a new float. And just if you're not moving quickly, you won't uh, be able to rotate quickly. Um, that's also how it goes within real life um, so we are going to assign to the vehicle rigid body I'm still making that mistake, that's not positive um, and we're going to add there this input dot get axis horizontal and um, we are going to multiply it by the current vehicle with the uh, um, speed with which it can rotate uh, vehicle uh, trends dot up so we are going to rotate it around the i axis but if you are just uh, having a problem it's turned over or whatever it will still get the right uh, direction and uh, also uh, we are going to multiply it by the rotation move, rod move. Um, also, we are going to create um, a quaternation, the target rotation, because we are now going to make sure it won't, if you want we are using a bike and 
If you won't add this, you will just turn over and turn over and turn over. And just just make sure that every time you go just uh, a little bit to the le you rotate a little bit to the left or the right, you will just go up again. So that is a new coordination or whatever you have to uh, call it. And make the target rotation uh, the same as the vehicle dot rotation, but we are going to change that sorry the vehicle trends dot rotation but we're going to change that because if it's bigger or if it is smaller I mean and you don't have to understand this it's just a simple trick and well if it's just smaller than 180 degrees the target will be uh, let's say will be zero and I will explain what exactly is happening within this tutorial when I'm working with the inspector. I don't think we're going to make this within this tutorial, so that's why I'm saying the next tutorial. At least I hope so, because otherwise the series will uh, is doing way too long. And otherwise it's uh, 360 degrees. Then we are going to change the vehicle uh, trends dot rotation and uh, just slurp this, slurp slurp, and vehicle trends dot rotation, because that's your starting point, uh, your ending point is the target rotation, um, which is by the way, why we assigned it here, is to make sure your uh, x and y axis are just the same, so we o only want to change the z uh, axis, I didn't say that right, but that does you understand me, ho I hope so. So, just like that. And here it is just time dot smooth delta time. It's just, for me, this were, was just the best uh, way to go. And that's everything you want to have in driving. So as you can see, it's very simple, very basic, nothing special. Um, we got eight minutes left. Um, so I think we got everything within the script and within this script. So that means we can actually just assign things. So the very first thing you are going to do is remove the animator. Um, because I don't have animate animations. If you have, just uh, still have it. So you are going to create an empty and you're going to call it motor, motor vehicle. Just never have the graphics uh, to be your own, uh, to be the the root of everything, the parent of everything. Um, set this layer to vehicle, and yes, change the children. Now at here, um, we are going to change it. But uh, at here, um, that's because I'm too lazy. Otherwise, a mesh collider, and just copy this and remove it so uh, my mess uh, is named cube and not motor just because I was too lazy I'm sorry for that guys I hope you guys don't mind and we're going to paste here and also add a reset body and lock uh, or freeze this rotation also make it convex and uh, I think that's all and also add here the uh, vehicle script and add one uh, seat call it driver and we are going to add here uh, an, empty, an empty and you're going to call it vehicle uh, driver I mean sorry and you're just going to assign to where you want to be the first player to be so something like that also change it to driver Assign, sorry, assign this game object, set the speed to, well, just whatever you want, just uh, for this time, 5, max speed, let's say, 120, time to go in vehicle, 1 second, I think that's uh, uh, the right value, and, well, just change this to 2 or so, whatever. Um, also add here, the driver well maybe we can make it within this tutorial we got five minutes left 
um, change the first person control to this one and uh, also the current vehicle we can do that we can do that um, and change the check radius to let's say five just to make it really big just for this first time just to so I can quickly show you what uh, that it works so I hope it works if we've got any errors we have to fix that there's the motor I press F we wait some time and it doesn't work so we have to see what's happening why it isn't working welcome back I see I messed up a little bit I didn't mean to create a layer vehicle because that will take too much uh, layers we will I mean to create a new uh, tag called layer so just add a new tag called vehicle and assign here this tag to vehicle and now it should work so we will probably see some weird message because you know I was just using it uh, now we can drive probably um, driver FPS controller is he driving yeah he is driving okay he's probably not fast enough to we have to turn on speed a little bit yeah it is now driving actually just a little bit more probably yeah oh that's a bit too much just change this to 15 maybe that will work so this is just always just trying to find uh, for each uh, vehicle the right uh, place and things like that um, this is still too much 10 maybe and that's why this is uh, well sometimes a bit annoying or did I forgot to add something here so I had it oh yeah I forgot that was what I forgot we have to create a new material um, and it is not just a material it is where does it stand physics material and call it car and just assign it to that one um, here car and now we're going to play around so you want to have the friction a little bit lower and the it should be a little bit better right now and also yeah that's what I missed so as you can see you can uh, drive around it is not that good as you can also see um, and well it works but that uh, is the driving and you can just exit the car again so well it works so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. Um, if you're thinking, why is he driving? Uh, is it a good driving system? Well, here you see it, and I warned you in the first episode. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe, and I'll see you guys by the next tutorial series.